Good morning. Um, I'm drawn to exploring different aspects of a view from a window or an open doorway. So I took this picture this morning from our study looking out across the garden to the river. Depending on how far or close you are, the peripheral view increases or decreases. This exploration for me of enjoying exploring these views began about 10 years ago when I had a dream. Uh, I was asked to stand before an opening and, and I was asked, what do you see? I've had this dream a few times over the years, usually when I face uncertainty or need to make a decision. It's almost like God offers choices to me, which depending on where I stand looking through the open, opening, change. But I feel a challenge to explore growing increasingly in my heart. Explore the vista, walk through the opening, take a risk. Growing older doesn't disqualify you from exploring. So when I read um, this little passage that I'm going to read to you, uh, written by Doug Addison, um, I felt really challenged. So I hope that you'll enjoy uh, this as much as I did. It begins with a scripture from Joshua when the angel says to him, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. This is the time for the plans of your destiny to be revealed. It's a time uh, to lift up your heart and your head and break off discouragement as the Lord is moving in your life. The Lord is releasing spiritual refreshment that will bring you into a deeper level of intimacy with him. The word of the Lord for you is to keep taking steps forward. Don't look back, don't slow down, don't stop. There are some keys for me to follow and I guess also for you also uh, in this exploration. And in reading Psalm 84, some of these keys are uh, identified. The key number one, worship in the valley. Deep within me are these love sick longings, desires and daydreams, daydreams of living in union with you. When I'm near you, my heart and my soul will sing and worship with my joyful songs to you, my true source and spring of life. Psalm 84 verse 2, you will do well if you worship and sing to the Lord in the midst of the storm. This is your connection to the true source and spring of life. Find ways to worship and sing in the spirit and you will find refreshment. Consider creating a new playlist, maybe on your music app. Key two, dig deep in the Lord. Even when their paths wind through the dark valley of tears, they dig deep to find a pleasant pool where others only find pain. He gives to them a brook of blessing filled from the rain of an outpouring. Psalm 84 verse six. The Lord is calling you to dig deep to find the pleasant brooks of living water. This might be different for each person. Go back and review the prophetic words and the promises from your prayer journal. As you're digging deep in the Lord, it will help to turn your focus away from any pain of the past and the discouragement. As you do this, you will tap into the brook of blessings and be filled with the rain of his outpouring. And finally, key three, keep moving forward. They grow stronger and stronger with every step forward and the God of all gods will appear before them in Zion. Don't stop, don't look back, just keeping, keep moving forward. This is the most important key for you to enter into this new season. The Lord has given you everything you need to succeed, but you will need to step up and take it. As you succeed, but sorry, 
The Lord has given you everything you need to succeed, but you will need to step up and take it as the enemy is trying to war against you, entering into this new time. I believe the Lord is re releasing a fresh drink of the Holy Spirit. We are being prepared for change in the spiritual atmosphere and the heavens are now open and ripe to encounter the Lord. To offset the attacks of Satan, the Lord is releasing visitations and encounters in dreams, visions and a deeper connection to the Father's heart. That was taken from writings of Doug Addison. I wholly concur with that for me in this present time in the journey. Be an explorer. Be courageous. God bless you.